Yeah. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Cupra Garage, or maybe I should say welcome back to the Cupra Garage, as some of you were here two weeks ago to discover our latest news about Cupra. As you all know, the Geneva Motor Show is not happening this year. However, we didn't want to miss the chance to show and explain you all our novelties. For this reason, we have here with us at the Cupra Garage a very special guest, our all-new Seat Leon. Going straight to the point, as planned for Geneva, the presentation will be handled by our president, Karsten Isenze, and Wayne Griffith, the CEO of Cupra. And with no further delay, I would invite them both on stage. Karsten, Wayne, please join me on stage. Good afternoon from my side, and thanks for joining our web conference. Yeah, and welcome from my side as well to Cupra. Thank you for being connected. And despite uh, not being in Geneva, I think, Carsten, we've got big news for everybody today. Yes, indeed. Great news is coming because Cupra and Seat has a lot to give. In the first two months of the year, we have maintained the same positive momentum than in 2019. Even though we are very profit-centered, we have managed to continue posting growing figures in sales, paving the way for what is to become, because 2020 will be a challenging year for the whole automotive industry. In just two months, we have kicked off a whole new product era with new generation of our bestsellers. The Seat Leon, it is, at least until today's presentation, the best-looking, safest, and most connected car that we have ever had the pleasure to show you. It will come with a wide variety of efficient engines, including electrified versions, and at the first announcement of today, let me tell you that the Seat Leon will be available from the end of April with a starting price of 20,000 euros in Germany. But the story doesn't end here, because we have also presented the Cupra Leon. Wayne, he is very proud of that day, because it was the inauguration of the Cupra Garage, the brand's new headquarters, where we are at this moment. Yeah, I think uh, a really, really cool place here, the, the Cupra Garage, uh, a place for the Cupra tribe to work in in the future. Uh, we celebrated our second anniversary of the brand, showing two models in, in the Cooper garage opening. One, the Cooper Leon, as you mm. said, or as I like to call it, the King of Leons, and the other car that we have here today as well, the Cooper E-Racer. And it was a big night for Cooper where we showed that the brand is growing faster and further than expected, thanks to the passionate group of people who love doing special cars for special people. And during that night, we had lots of highlights, a great party, but we didn't decide to show the Cupra Formentor. We didn't decide that to show that to the world because the world premiere for the Cupra Formentor was planned uh, for Geneva. But today, finally, we want to show you this great car. But wait, Wayne, uh, I know that you are very excited about Cupra and the Cupra Formentor. But before we jump into that, let's take a quick look at Seat's last year. The message is simple. 2019 was our best year ever. We were the fastest growing volume brand in Europe, even in the context of a slowing market, achieving double-digit growth of the third year in a row. And let me tell you that financial results have also been exceptional, but we will have to wait until our annual press conference by the end of March to give you more details about that. And about Cupra, Wayne, I think you can also give us very good news. Yeah, regarding uh, Cupra Carsten, uh, the brand, I think, has shown impressive results in its first two years of its history. Uh, we sold uh, 40,000 cars, and I think this proves the potential that the brand has for the future. In 2019, we achieved a sales record 
achieving almost 25,000 cars. Mm. That's a growth of 70% uh, against the previous year. And in 2020, this year, we will already achieve our initial goal that we set in Terramar of doubling Cupra's volume. Mm. And I think, and I know you share my belief, that, that Cupra is key in moving Seat's center of gravity upwards with more emotional cars and higher transactional prices. The Cupra mix within the Seat overall portfolio will continue to grow with the Ateca now representing around 15% of all Ateca or Cupra. Mm. And in the case of the Leon, a mix of around 10% will be Cupra. Cupra is becoming more and more important part of Seat's overall business. And if everything goes right, we're planning to hit the magical figure of achieving 1 billion euro turnover when we have the Cupra Fomentor in the market. And that would mean, I think, about 10% mm. of Seat's overall turnover and making Cupra one of the most profitable divisions within our company. Obviously, products are key for driving this success story. And since the launch two years ago in Terramar, we've continually invested in our product offensive. Our next big step will be the launch of the Cupra Formentor and the electrification of the whole Cupra range. Mm. And we believe that sportiness and electrification are a perfect match. The first cars with performance plug-in hybrid will be the Cupra Leon 5-door, the Cupra Leon Sports Tourer, and then the Cupra Formentor. But not only in terms of product is Cupra showing great advancements, we are also strengthening other key pillars within Cupra's strategy. In terms of our brand image, our core activities obviously focus around our partnership with the Football Club of Barcelona, with which we share similar values such as passion, ambition, performance, and the idea of jointly inspiring the world from Barcelona. We're also getting ready um, to kick off uh, the, the race season in the World Electric Touring Car Competition, known now as the Pure ETCR. And next year, we will see the debut of our e-racer, driven by Matthias Ekström and Jordi Genet. Together with our exceptional ambassadors, we will expand the Cupra tribe with an elite team of believers whose ambition will place Cupra in another league. As you can see, we have set ambitious targets for Seat and Cupra, and Wayne is right. To electrify our model range is one of our core pillars. Some months ago, we announced that we would launch six electrified Seat Cupra models until 2021. And we have already presented four of them. The Mi Electric, the Seat and Cupra Leon plug-in hybrid families, and the Taraco which will all be available as plug-in hybrids. And today, it's time for the fifth one. Last year in Geneva, we presented the pre-production model of the Cupra Formentor. So you could say that back then, we presented our ambition. And today, we proved that we can deliver on that ambition by presenting its production version. Yeah, hopefully so. From, from the beginning, in the very beginning, in design and development phase of this car, there was a big emotion and, and I think a big expectation around this very, very special car. Reactions of people when they saw the car were exceptional. And that motivated, I think, the whole team of engineers and designers to bring this car into series as the concept car was. I think the Cupra Formentor has all the Cupra DNA brand essence and ingredients in this, in this car. And I'd like to congratulate our design team under the leadership of Alejandro Misonero of doing a fantastic job and really getting this car into a series model as the concept car was. I think this proves, the Cupra Formento proves that with Cupra, together we can make big dreams happen. And now here on screen for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, Cupra's next dream, the Cupra Formento.
Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, a new era for Cupra begins. The Cupra Formentor is a game changer for Cupra. We said and promised that the production series was going to look very similar to the concept car presented back then, and I think we've delivered the promise, Carsten. That is a great looking car, and in my opinion, it's the best car that we have ever rolled out of our Matorel plant. And I also like its name because the Cupra Formentor has been named after the Cape of Formentor of the Spanish island of Mallorca, one of the most beautiful and wild areas in the Balearics. Beautiful and wild, two attributes that perfectly define the DNA of the Cupra Formentor. That's right, Carsten. Um, containing 100% of Cupra's DNA, the Formentor is the most emotional and technological model in the brand's range. It's the first purely designed and developed car for the brand with a level, I think, of refinement and sophistication, particularly on its interior, mm. that the Cupra brand has never seen before. In my opinion, the Formentor is one of the sexiest, best-looking performance SUV crossover cars in the segment. Available with a range of different powertrains to meet with different customer requirements. At the top of the range, we will have a two liter turbo, uh, a, a, a two liter TSI turbocharged petrol engine with a total output of 310 horsepower and four wheel drive technology. However, the Formentor looks to the future, pushing up the shift to electrification by integrating high-performance plug-in hybrid technology. This powertrain supplies a total of 245 horsepower with an electric range of around 50 kilometers. It allows the car to reach a performance that customers expect, but more in tune with a world focused on minimizing our impact on the environment. The Cupra Formentor is a big step on our journey to making Cupra a desirable brand for car lovers and we're already getting ready to launch the car in the fourth quarter of this year. We promise great news, ladies and gentlemen, and we are sure that we are not disappointing you. So, thank you both, Wayne and uh, Karsten, for your presentation. It was short, sharp, and precise. So, normally at this point of the presentation, we should have the photo opportunity on stand. But since we don't have the chance to do it right now, uh, we will post it and publish them on our media center shortly. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for following us uh, this afternoon. In case you have any questions, please refer to our communication team here in Barcelona or in the markets, of course. And uh, see you soon, of course, and hopefully in Geneva next year. Thank you.